The school year is just around the corner, which means parents are back to school shopping. And that could be very stressful for families this year as the cost of school supplies is up 41% from 2021. Fortunately, parents here in Billings have options. Backpacks, notebooks, and pens, all essentials for going back to school. But unfortunately for parents, prices have gone way up. I think that for the community and for myself, it's it's very expensive with the cost rising. Alba Pimentel has two kids going back to school this year and she's had to make adjustments when shopping. I started, but in order for it not to affect my budget, I did little by little. She purchases school supplies with each grocery trip she takes. I couldn't do it all in bulk because you're looking at 50 to 100 added to the budget. And according to shopping website Retail Me Not, families shopping for back to school supplies are expected to spend around $1,100 on average this year. Parents Parents have seen a 55% jump in what they expected to spend on school supplies last year versus this year. Fortunately for Billings parents, there are options. The Salvation Army has a back to school supply assistance program free for families. We try to provide a well rounded backpack catered to each age, each grade, you know, because each school has specifics of what they need. Parents can swing by the Salvation Army to sign up. And across town at Harvest Church, more help. We've given out supplies for years, but this year we're expanding to include a whole bunch of services. Harvest Church is hosting a back-to-school fair for families from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. on August 13th. The church is also offering families free access to Billings Wellness providers, even offering Medicaid and WIC assistance. Free haircuts, we're doing free eye exams, we're giving out free first day of school outfits. We just want to bless families in the community, make it a little easier for that first day. Just a bit of help during what can already be a stressful time. In Billings, Alina Howder, MTN News.